Hey guys, this is Patrice here at iFix Lemonade, and today I fixed Creole fish stew. So let's dive right in. Okay, so start with either fish stock or some type of vegetable stock. I've used fish stock here. Then you see that I've combined the raw fish. I also have in there finely diced celery, onions, and carrots. And then the next thing that you want to do is while this is on the stove, go ahead and get some rice cooking on the side, maybe in a microwave, a rice cooker, or on top of the stove because you're going to pour this over a bed of rice. Once your fish starts to cook, the next thing you want to do is just basically stir everything around and then you're going to add in some freshly diced potatoes, just like that, and then stir it around. Next, you'll want to add in two cans of diced tomatoes. Now, you could also use fresh tomatoes. Uh, it would be equivalent to about 32 ounces, and then you're just going to stir it up. Add in one can of tomato sauce. Add in Creole seasoning, cayenne pepper, thyme, and lemon pepper, and then just pour that right in. Follow that up with two heaping teaspoons of minced garlic, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two bay leaves, then stir that up. And then after you do that, the next step is to add in a teaspoon of basil. That's going to sweeten it up a little bit. Next, I added two tablespoons of cornstarch, and then I filled it with water and mixed it up. And I'm going to add that directly to the soup, and this is going to thicken it. Some people can use flour, but I'm making this gluten-free, so I used cornstarch instead. The last step is to add in one tablespoon of olive oil and then you'll just want to stir it around. Then I would say probably let it cook for mm, let's say maybe five minutes or so. Check on your rice. Your rice should more than likely be done at this point or pretty close to being done and then we're going to serve it up. Okay guys so that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Two things that are optional here. You could either Add in the potatoes like I did or not. The other thing is hot sauce. I didn't put hot sauce in this to make it a little bit more spicy. It is spicy with the cayenne, but it's not as spicy because I have a little one that can't necessarily or doesn't necessarily enjoy the super spice. But that's one of the things that I left out that you can add in. Serve it over a bed of rice just like I did. Try it out, guys, and comment down below how it turned out for you. I'm really curious to know. And do me a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And until next time, keep fixing good food. Bye.